Well, this task is quite different than what we normally do. Yeah, we're looking at a human being that has a Kevlar wing strapped to their body with four engines and flying in close proximity to an aircraft that is absolutely enormous. We will be mosquitoes flying with an eagle or a condor. Oh, there are many uh, aspects in terms of preparation going to this uh, task. Uh, when you first heard about it, it was madness. Uh, but then as we worked through the process and identified the risks and all the mitigations, um, it, it became more of a challenge and opportunity to show our skills. To uh, reduce these risks, there is a, a lot of preparation. We take, if you can envisage a bubble, and we place the event inside the bubble. Then we say to the event, do not go outside of that piece of airspace. To make sure we got all the shots that we needed and that it was controlled and we understood where every aircraft was in the formation at any particular time, we had to choreograph every single sequence. So every straight, every corner, we wanted to understand exactly what was going to happen. It is very challenging in executing it, uh, just mainly making sure that we're all safe at all times and the safety obviously is the highest uh, priority. So was it able to operate inside that confined airspace? The answer to that was yes. Can it be done safely? The answer to that, yes. So then we looked at the Jetman operation to see, okay, with the performance criteria and what they're looking at in following this, are they able to operate in what we call a confined area? They replied and said yes. Nice. Okay. Jetman's endurance is only 10 minutes maximum, and he was having to use very high power settings to maintain formation with the 380. Every filming opportunity was maximized, so we, we storyboarded the entire sequence. Fly with uh, the Ace 380, huh? it's uh, this uh, big machine, we never flew with it before, we train ourselves as much as possible, but then when we exit the helicopter, there is this little part of unknown. At any one time, there were up to four aircraft, plus the two Jetman pilots that were operating in, in this airspace. A good thing is that we have radio communication between Captain Abbas uh, in his cockpit and direct in our helmet. I need to know his positions, his moves, where he's about, uh, and obviously he has to know, since I'm the leader, uh, what is my next move. We have to be uh, uh, sharp, safe, and, uh, and get back uh, a lot of pictures. For this to be a first, we had to make sure that we ticked all the boxes as regards safety is concerned, which we did, to ensure that the, that the end result was something that um, the Emirate of Dubai, Emirates Airline, Jetman Operations, and Dubai Civil Aviation Authority can be uh, proud of and say it's a job well done by everyone concerned.